Disclaimer. All right, just gonna have to turn on the light so I don't get scared in the dark. <laughs> Well, good evening, laddies, lasses, and lasses. Welcome to the click. You smell absolutely astounding today. And don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Oh my god, except you, Andra. Screw you, on. No, I'm so sorry. I, I can't actually say that immersively. I sound so mean. Andra, you're a beautiful being. Thank you so much for showing up to my stream the other day. You smell absolutely wonderful. And speaking of streams, make sure to check out my streams. I stream around the channel. It's absolutely amazing. We have a lot of fun. Well, other people have a lot of fun watching me. I mainly suffer. So anyway, today we are going to do something beautiful that I attempted to do in the intro. Speaking of things that are messing me over, thank you for that one, plant. Anyway, we're going to look at r slash frick you in particular, which is a beautiful subreddit. Have you ever felt like the universe is specifically against you? <laughs> well, it probably is. Enjoy. Mwah. Oh, wasn't that a positive, sparkling intro? Wow, I feel better already. When your husband and cat share a birthday. Yay! Happy birthday, Molly! And Tim. I am gonna be perfectly honest. You are incredibly privileged to even be acknowledged that you have the same birthday. That you're even allowed to have the birthday on the same day as the cat. I don't get that frowny face. Turn that frown upside down. It has come to my attention that some of you don't know my English teacher in high school was my own father. On the first day of classes, he said, I want you all to know that I'm only sleeping with one, one of your mothers. This is my villain origin story. <laughs> and then he doesn't mention any other details and the whole class is just like, wait a second, wait, what? And you're sitting there in the corner just slowly dying. I feel like this would kind of be the strategy I use as a dad. I'm gonna be like, kiddo, if you mess up, I'm not gonna be upset. I'm not gonna be disappointed, but I will embarrass you in front of your friends. I will confidently misuse slang when your friends are over because I don't give a crap. I'm no longer cool, but I will make sure you're not. Oh, the ultimate threats. I saw this big butt bird and then this happened. Let's see. Ooh, that's a cool bird. Look at that. Wow. It's getting a bit close, but that's cool. It's good for the pick. It's good for the pick. Getting, getting! <laughs> <laughs> the scream of horror at the end, man. Did we just watch someone last moments? I guess not, because they actually uploaded the video, so I assume they survived. <sighs> I hope you're doing fine. Out of order, please use ladies for pooping. Uh, can you narrow down which lady to poop on? I've been arrested for a similar before. Tracy? <laughs> I, I just wanna poop! Fortunate. I've heard of toxic office culture before, but god damn. Library book return. Dropbox is broken. Please visit Kathy inside to return books. Update. Dropbox is not broken. Kathy is just super lonely and wants to talk to you about her nine ferrets. <laughs> why, did, why so specifically nine ferrets? Maybe it's like a synonym for something. Maybe it's actually nine cats, but she pretends it's ferrets so people will seem more interested. This is so... I feel bad for Kathy, man. That looks really big. Oh my god! Oh! Did the video stop because they stopped it, or did the phone just like get blasted into a million pieces? I don't think it's water damage at this point, I think the phone just cracked in half from the pressure. Vice! The beast didn't stop hitting until a hundred foot wide poop NATO had fully engulfed the divers. A vile blasted an ungodly amount of ass ham all over some divers. <laughs> what is with like the formulation in this headline? Are you a little diver? You're on vacation? Gotta see some nice sights on the sea? How about ass ham? I would say that whale doesn't give a shite, but it gave a lot of shite. Replace the first four letters in both your names with Frick. I am Frick's Frick. Ah, uh, Frick Lisa, Frick Ella. School Lisa Ella. You can just hear down the names. Ah, oh, disgusting. I'm just kidding. Lisa and Ella, you smell absolutely amazing. I, I can never immerse this deeply into Frick you culture. I'll just look at it when it happens to people that are not specifically watching my videos. <laughs> I'm a very biased rascal. Oh, oh, they have little ball toys. Look how cute it is. Oh, they're all trying their best with their brains. Oh, one of them tried a different technique. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Who just slaps one of the other cats with it? If I'm gonna suffer, so will you. Don't laugh at me. I feel like it's a bit of an unfortunate design that the hole is exactly the size of a typical cat head. This seems like something that should have been thought about, right? <laughs> 
That is not okay. Social media is left in uproar over images of plus-sized plane passengers being weighed on a baggage scale in front of the whole airport after staff accused her of lying when she claimed she was 130 pounds. What on earth is this real? The woman said everyone had to share their weight. Wait, what kind of plane are they boarding? I've never experienced them being this strict. I have been on a flight where every passenger had to be weighed, holding their carry-on. It was on a tiny regional prop plane from Lord Howe Island in Australia to Sydney. Super short runway, and they had to be confident the aircraft would meet the right performance criteria. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure if I would be super comfortable getting on a plane when they're like, oh, here, dear lady, plus minus 10 pounds, that might make us die. Like, Jesus Christ, someone could bring a water bottle and you would crash. Some people laughed when they made the announcement at the gate, but everyone was happily compliant once the captain explained why they were doing it. I mean, if it's such a tiny plane, I guess it makes sense, but like, <laughs> it still feels so unreal, man. I did a little digging, and every news outlet wrote roughly the same thing, claimed to be 130 pounds. One mentioned that she was a plus-size TikToker, so they are all skirting around the idea that she may have been wrong in her weight estimate. What's not mentioned here is that if doubt the airport weighs every passenger for the safety of all passengers. As part of the new regulation that came in 2021, the airline has the right to ask every passenger to prove the weight that is deemed to put other passengers... This story just seems absolutely bonkers, man. What on earth? In my opinion, I would take the embarrassment to know that I wasn't jeopardizing my fellow passengers' lives with my lies. Fact is, you, it doesn't matter what way you are or rely on lower your estimate. The airline has an obligation to ensure the plane can take off, won't tilt. <laughs> this is so wild! Is this, is this a thing? Singer and actress Alea died in a plane crash. Here is a piece from the wiki. The passengers has grown impatient because the Cessna was supposed to arrive 4.30, but did not arrive until 6.15. Charter pilot claimed to have overheard passengers arguing with the pilot, Morales, before takeoff. Adding that Morales warned them that there was too much weight for a safe flight, Kay added he tried to convince them the plane was overloaded, but they insisted they had chartered the plane and they had to be in Miami Saturday night. I hope you saw this part. According to Kathy Landoli's 2021 biography, Aelia was a nervous flyer. She had a serious reservation about flying on the small plane and refused to board. After arguing with the rest of her entourage about it, she retreated into a taxi cab to rest, claiming she had a headache. One of the passengers was sent to check on her and proceeded to slip her a sedative. She was then carried unconscious onto the plane. Wait a second, no way! They overloaded the plane, drugged their friend, dragged them on board, and then crashed the plane? Out of all the ways to go out in this world, this has to be like one of the more gross ways. What the hell? Man, we really went down a rabbit hole, didn't we? Okay, well, I feel, um, I'm not sure if educated is the right word, but like terrifyingly informed. We got little shields! Oh, I ate the food. Cat slaps him, how dare you eat the food instead of me? Alright, here comes the next piece. <gasps> Another seal! Oh, the same one gets the slap! And he's like, but I wasn't even the one who ate it this time. Why do I keep getting punished for other seal's actions? Disgusting. Can you imagine cuddling with a seal, though? They're like so fat and fluffy, and they're really cute. Dark eyes, like little demons. <sighs> I swear to God, I love like every animal. I'm, I have issues, man. Samuel, stupid, disgusting, annoying piece of poo! You will ever meet meat? You will ever... <laughs> Meat, this is very suggestive, isn't it? If you ever meet one, run away! Person one, oh, is that a Samuel? Person two, oh, poo it is, run! By I hate Samuel.com. <laughs> 13 dislikes. <laughs> Who made this? Did someone have one of those really dramatic best friend breakups? And this is what they did? Oh my god. He has plans beyond our understanding. Oh, this is a live stream with like 800 people. All right, so we have a little crocodile. And we have a little fish. <gasps> what a treat. Come on, Crocomadil. It's a fish for you. It's a fish for you. <laughs> what? Okay, okay, calm down. I think I know what the explanation is. It, uh, you're wearing crocs, and the crocodile is really intrigued by asking where you bought those fantastic crocs. Yes. That's it. Which country is most represented in the Union Jack by area? England, 4 out of 9, 44.44%. Scotland, 47 minus 6 times the root out of 5, divided by 80, about 41%. Northern Ireland, 54 times the root of 5 minus 23, divided by 720, which is 13%. Wales, 0. <laughs> what did Wales do, man? What did Wales do? This is wonderful. I could watch 9 seasons of this. Monkey are the same type of cow. This is a 
Emmanuel, do not do it. Emmanuel, don't do it. Emmanuel. Emmanuel, God. Do trying it. to film a TikTok. I'm trying to educate people right now, okay? Can you just stop? Can Emmanuel you just is anti-education. Emmanuel! Emmanuel, every time! Emmanuel, don't do it! Emmanuel, don't do it! Emmanuel, don't do it! <laughs> Emmanuel! Don't choose violence today. Please, every day we go through this. Gosh. I would also watch nine seasons of this. This is amazing. There are only two characters in this in the series. Emmanuel, don't do it! Emmanuel! Think about it. Think about it. Make smart choices. Emmanuel? Does Emmanuel look like someone who's gonna make smart choices? Emmanuel does not look like someone who's gonna make smart choices. Emmanuel looks like someone who's gonna make very evil, calculated choices. They're also kind of stupid. Is it ironic that they're calculated and stupid at the same time? But I think Manuel could pull that off. Die, bot. Die. Oh, no, you see, you're mistaken. It's D bot. D. It's German. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, that makes sense. There has never been any evil German people. <laughs> if you get that reference, let me know in the comments. Sienna, I love mommy because I get to see her every day because she is a dinner lady. Sienna, my dad is lazy and he sleeps on the... What is that? Is Seattle? Set set city? Is that like a chair thing? <laughs> Stupid child! You just came to school to call your parent lazy. Wow. Behind the scenes of Godzilla, 1998. Man, why didn't they just have this guy fight him off? Dude's huge! I wouldn't fight Godzilla if I was this dude's size. For roughly the same reason I wouldn't fight a Komodo dragon at the size I currently am. Not even to save New York? What has New York ever done for me? That is perfectly fair. Although, to be honest, most animals the same body weight as a man would kill a man. We suck according to our body weight. Like, would you actually go up face to face, for example, with a cat that weighs 70 kilos? Would you actually do that? Imagine the claws on that thing. No, no way. I mean, it's basically a tiger, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> you, would, you wouldn't go toe to toe with a freaking tiger. Rating breakfast around the world. Netherlands. So I have reviewed Hachelslag before. Hachelslag? What is 10, this? But I seem to have upset the entire country of the Netherlands. You're so getting cancelled in Netherlands, man. According to what the comments said. Firstly, I got the milk chocolate version now, so I hope you're happy. That I is also so weird. opened it correctly. I took a piece of white bread from a Dutch grocery store and I didn't toast it. I don't know why you think that's better, but I didn't. I buttered it thoroughly from edge to edge. And I applied more sprinkles, way more sprinkles, because you are really upset about that. Is this enough? So these are specifically sandwich sprinkles. Is this enough? And now that I tried the proper version, I would like to admit that I was wrong. My rating was a bit too high. I'm gonna update it to 1.5 out of 10. Absolutely ridiculous. Comment your country so I can try a better breakfast than this, please. I'll see you in the next one. Is this actually a thing? I mean, honestly, it feels like that sort of thing that kids probably loved because it's like white bread and butter and chocolate, you know, all the things that you would like as a child. And then it just has like thick freaking nostalgic connections and that's why you like it. Okay, okay, don't cancel me, please. I'm only trying to explain this from an international perspective. God, please don't talk crap about Swedish meatballs next. I would be very uh, sad. Thank you, thank you. Went kayaking this morning. I just want Brian to know he's a butthole. Brian! If you're gonna throw stuff in the ocean, at least make sure it doesn't have your name on it from the takeaway. Jesus Christ, it's like <laughs> tossing Starbucks mugs in the forest and you get busted because it has your name on it. Brian, you silly bean. Clonk! New skeleton found in Pompeii. This guy was running from the eruption when a 300 kilogram boulder hit him right in the face. Ah, uh, was, was he okay? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Timmy, he was, uh, he was fine. Can you imagine that, though? You managed to outrun a freaking volcano and you look back behind you and be like, Man, I think I'm gonna be fine. Schmack. <sighs> I wonder what he did in life to deserve this kind of karma. That really rocked his world. <laughs> okay, we got a little firework going on here. All right, let's see where it goes. Happy New Year, everyone. Okay, what? That was, like, calculated, man! But it, it just floated for, like, five seconds and then changed directions. This looks like it's on purpose. 
Freak You in particular, you have been temporarily banned from participating in Freak You in particular. Congratulations, you have been randomly selected to be banned. You were randomly picked out of a pool of 522 usernames. You had a 0.19% chance of being picked. Don't worry though, your ban only lasts today and you can still view stuff on the subreddit. <laughs> I love that they have a raffle for random bands on Frick You in particular. This is beautiful. You get a gold star. Talk about living up to your name. Nice. I'm that friend that like lives at Can't Catch a Break Dramatic Lifestyle. Like I was randomly walking in downtown LA back to work and mm -hmm. got punched in the face by a homeless person. And um, that broke my jaw. And then I had to get jaw surgery to fix it. And my immune system was super weak. And I ended up getting an infection and getting Aww. pneumonia. And then when I had pneumonia, I was super lightheaded and I fell and I hit my head. And that led to a brain injury, which then we found a tumor in my brain. I mean, that's actually a bit lucky. I surgery to get the tumor out. And then it didn't get all the tumor out. So then I had to start radiation. Oh my God. And um, oh. then I was walking to my radiation treatment the other day at the hospital and in front of the hospital i got run over by a car um oh my god they ran a stop sign oh my yeah that's like the unluckiest week i have ever heard in my life jesus christ we actually have a saying for that like that specific thing like you fall hit your head they have to check your head and they find the tumor so they can remove it which you know the earlier you catch it the better there's actually a saying for it in swedish that goes tur i oturen which means uh, luck inside of the bad luck kind of luck in the bad luck sort of so it's like you have something unlucky happen but something well good sort of comes from it like in this case you you uncover something that could be more dangerous because that's something that happened so that's sort of it's not good that it's a thing but i guess it's nice that it was found at least earlier on but the, this is awful this is so bad oh my god Duncan. Visit Duncan 12 times a month to be eligible for a boosted status through the new Duncan rewards program uh, even if we go just to charge our phone? Everyone is eligible except Craig. <laughs> Stupid Craig. You had to push it, hadn't you, Craig? You ruined it for everyone, Craig. Married love. In every book my husband's written, a character named Colin suffers a horrible death. This is because my boyfriend before I met my husband was named Colin. In addition to being named Colin, he was Scottish and an architect. So you understand my husband's feeling of inadequacy. My husband cannot build the tall building of many stories. He can only build a story and then push Colin out of it. Can you imagine having a book series with 10 books and all murder mysteries and every murder person just happens to be called Colin and they all died either from failed architecture or getting pushed out of a building? <laughs> This is... I'm not sure if petty is the right word for this. Reynolds and another actor are sharing footage of the procedure as part of a new campaign encouraging men over 45 to get screened for colon cancer. Saved one letter to say another actor instead of Rog McElhenney. I, I must... McElhenney... McElhenney? McElhenney? Okay, yeah. <laughs> what a garbage title. <laughs> There are some really funny articles like this, though. I remember reading one that was something along the lines of Michelle Obama's husband, parentheses, president, or whatever, has done this. That was so beautiful. Michelle Obama is a champ. We have spoken to a few of the people involved in this, and Tom McElrond, who has asked to remain anonymous. Tom, I guess I'll just go frick myself then. <laughs> I like it so on the nose as well. Here's Tom. He asked to remain anonymous. We didn't care. So anyway, here's what Tom had to say. I mean, at least you let them own their words, I suppose, but I'm not sure if this is, like, journalistic integrity. <laughs> it's really a big middle finger. One of the best ways to drain people's energy nowadays is via the internet. Oh, I this know this character. This is a astrophysicist. Uh -huh. Actually, this is not how space works. <laughs> Read a book. Now, I just wait for the comments to come in. Hey, can you mansplain any louder? Yeah, sure. Oh, my These are all different accounts that I have set up. The energy you get this way isn't quite as pure, but if you do enough of it, it'll fill you up. Shanghai sucked. Where was the Chinatown? Jason Mraz is just too weird for me. Jesus actually hates horses. This is like I half the people on Twitter, I swear to God. LMFO. It makes so well, much more sense now. Dumbass, you know you've got them. They called me a dumbass. Women are getting too tall. <laughs> you can drain their energy via social media without having to even be near them. That is racist. You're correct. <laughs> it is. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Okay. 
It's oh, surprisingly yeah. simple to get total strangers completely furious with you. This should get a life. <laughs> no. Not getting a life anytime soon. This feels like Twitter in a nutshell. And there's also the other side of it where people will go to something you said that is completely random, just some everyday thing. And they say like, oh my God, you don't realize how problematic this is. <laughs> Educate yourself. But they won't even specify what it is. is. Is that something people do on purpose? They try to insinuate something is bad, but they don't specify because there's actually nothing bad in it. But they hope just you, you will just panic about it and try to desperately find what's bad about it. Did I uncover a new kind of trolling? Oh god, maybe I've opened Pandora's box. Twitter's bad enough already, please. Hello, Hannah. I made it clear in the lease, no pets. Do not want hair or fleece in apartment. I assure you that will not be a problem, Ken. Frank is hair-free and adorable. Meow. That is the ugliest thing I have ever seen. I should be increasing your rent for even suggesting that. <laughs> Some uh, some landlord business I think is going to be more controversial than normal landlord business. What do you think in the comments? Should the rent be increased for housing this creature? Or should it be lowered? Because it does kind of look like a demon. And I like demons. Get your net! Get your f***ing net! Get the f***! What are you doing? Stop! 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 <laughs> They're making the frogs gay. This user is a bish. What happened to this sub? It used to be so funny. We intentionally ruined it in an effort to upset you, you sir. This entire subreddit was built to make you feel joy browsing Reddit. But we've grown tired of your unappreciative nature and have decided to ruin the paradise we created in an effort to spite you. <laughs> I hope you no longer get joy from this subreddit because that is no longer its purpose. You have been gifted the bish flare also for unrelated reasons. Uh. Real? Oh, that is beautiful. That is really funny though that I kind of feel because sometimes on occasion I will get a message or a comment where someone is like oddly super specifically critical of something that is like something very personal obviously and I have no idea but they're talking to me about it like I did it to them on purpose like specifically them and it's like oh oh dear. <laughs> it's a little bit funny sometimes isn't it? No we're just traveling on a little train Looks nice, like a little trip time. A little ticket, yeah, stamp that one. Okay, beautiful. I have a ticket as a QR code on my phone and... He just walks away! Like it's normal! What?! Empathic co-worker. Someone crashed into my parked car and drove away. The impact pushed my car up on the sidewalk and they gave me a ticket for parking there! <laughs> That is so sad. You don't have to repair your car. You have to pay the ticket too. Oh my God. You know, as an engineer, as a man of science, I don't really believe in fate or like spiritual karma. But sometimes it's hard to deny that it wouldn't be real. God. This overpriced clinic won't pay their web developers. Whoops. If you have someone responsible for like your public page, that can also change everything. Maybe pay their invoices. Probably a good idea. He's quite a sweet fellow, really. I think I'll call him Bob. Moments later, Bob is dismembered. Oh my god, that's a violent duck. Look at it. It looks like kind of a duckling. It looks very young. It's a very cute duckling. It needs its nutrients. Murder is okay if it's feeding ducks, okay? That's fine. Murder is fine as long as it's at the benefit of ducks. A uh, sportsman gonna pour the stuff on him. Oh my god, I was not trying to do an interview. Oh my god, and I'm so moist. I hate it when my days become moist. God. My local independent coffee shop uses a Starbucks mug for its toilet's brush holder. <laughs> that is so simple, but so beautiful. I wonder if like the owner of the place or some of the workers used to work in Starbucks, but they quit when they try to do their union busting and all that stupid stuff. And they did this. It's so small, but it's so impactful. It's so beautiful. You know, a picture speaks more than a thousand words. And in this case, every single one of those words is poo. A girl in front of me kept pouring out her ice cream that was in her cone until she made a swirl that she liked. There was no more chocolate ice cream left. <sighs> and I bet that all she did was take a picture of it for like Instagram and be like, Oh my god, ice cream summer! And then didn't even eat it, you know? <sighs> Our culture is fricked. Making sweet music for the woman who yells at every patient entering leaving the clinic. <laughs> Frick you! 
I actually love that. If you're gonna stand outside like Planned Parenthood or something and literally harass people that are going through difficult decisions and probably like mentally wrestling with it as it is and you have nothing better to do with your life than harass people, I think this is a good way of doing it. Just blow a horn in their face. <laughs> Seems about right. Man tests positive for monkeypox, COVID, and HIV at the same time. Whoa! STDs are like Pokemon, gotta catch them all, baby! Well, I guess COVID isn't isn't that not monkeypox, but whoa! Isn't this in Simpson episode where the doctor is explaining to Mr. Burns that, hey, you have everything. Oh, so that means I'm invincible. Oh, no, 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 just the bacteria are like crammed in the doorway of your system. The slightest breeze could mess it all up. <laughs> It gives me that vibes. Man, I feel bad for this person. That sucks. <gasps> He's Borb. <laughs> what was that? Did it like see the phone shine in the sunlight or something? It was like, ooh, sparkly. It just went for it. Is that what happened? It's so random. Please do not let the cat in. His name is Max. Max is nice. His owner does not want Max in the library. We do not want Max in the library. Max wants to be in the library. Please do not let Max into the library. Here is Max. Max is a little rascal. Cats are Satan spawns, and we still love them. If you go down to hell, it's all gonna be cats and chihuahuas, and us, and hot tubs, and a lot of gay parties. Gay parties are amazing. Have you ever been to gay masquerade parties? It's so freaking good. Oh my god. If you ever want to really bang your Halloween party, make sure to have some gay friends. Trust me. Lottery winner shows up naked for his work shift at Walmart store with boss's face tattooed on his butt. You actually went and got a permanent tattoo for this? Can you imagine when you explain this to your grandkids? Hey, Grandpa, why is there a random dude's face on your little butt cheek? Like, oh, well, Timmy, back when I was 30, I won at a lottery and I wanted to give a mid big middle finger to my boss. Actually, that's kind of a cool story. Maybe I should do this. Pretending to hurt ourselves, mom versus dad. Aww. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, it's so sad. Oh, oh snuggle kid to the rescue. Oh, that's so nice. Look at that. That's so cute. Oh, it's giving a hug. Okay, let's see. Now it's Daddy that's, that hurt his head. Aw. Are you gonna comfort Daddy? I think you should comfort him. <laughs> really? You better just man up. It's not a toxic household at all. <laughs> when entering the restaurant, please do not let the quaka in. And there's the little quack. Oh my god. I would let it in. I will buy it something on the menu. It's so freaking cute. It's even smiling at me. My heart is melting. I know I'm being manipulated, but I cannot help it. Notificado da auto ciao. Getting a speeding ticket on your car ass. It's being towed. <laughs> is this the same dude whose car got crashed in so he got a ticket on the sidewalk? It feels like it would be the same dude. Can you imagine, though, this means that the towing truck was actually speeding, but the camera just caught your car on the back of it and not the truck? <laughs> you got the ticket! Man, what a bad day. We got some candy wrappers. Yeah, I was gonna toss this one in there. Nope. What is this, magnetic or something? And they say, not littering isn't hard. Have you ever seen this? Disgusting. Oh my god, got mysterious bottle mail. Open me if you are reading this uh, F you dumb butt. Ah, I'm so glad I chose to open this to interact with fellow humans. I feel better already. Um, why doesn't FB accept videos over 26 seconds? Thanks. To prevent Ford owners from posting their quarter mile race videos. Oh, oh. oh yeah. We have that in northern Sweden too. It's like midnight sun. It never gets dark. Look at this. Ah, isn't that gorgeous? Mmm. Ah. You know, curtains that completely blacken out your room are very popular here. Uh, I think partially for this reason. Like half the year, it's sunny. Like 30 minutes a day, if you're lucky. And this time of year, it's like, oh my god, the sun never goes down. Can we just have like a balanced season? <laughs> Apparently not. Men working. Except John. That guy does nothing. <laughs> Is this like a bet? Did you do this as a prank for his birthday or something? Poor John, man. Argentinians, uh, we would like to swim in the Pacific Ocean. Uh, Chile, how about- No, we take that bitch. How are you gonna- What are you gonna do about it? You can't swim? There are more yeah. molecules of water 
in this bottle, mm -hmm. then there are bottles of water, this volume of water in all the world's oceans. You scoop a cup of water out of there. I don't even care if you filter it. Yeah, it's H2O a cool perspective there. how tiny molecules are. That is passed through the kidneys of Abraham Lincoln, mm. Genghis Khan, mm. Mm. Joan of Arc, mm. Socrates, Plato. No. <laughs> no, not him. No, not Plato. <laughs> Here is uh, kayaking. Child uses oversized equipment. The kayak is floating too high. It is too wide for his hips and shoulders, and it's so deep that his elbows hit the deck. His paddle is also too big. It is impossible for him to paddle efficiently. He will tire quickly. His PFD, almost read as PDF. His PDF is also large enough to slip over his head while fastened. So everything is wrong, basically. <laughs> this Wikipedia article has zero chill. He just completely grilled everything about this poor kid's kayaking experience. He probably just borrowed his dad's stuff, you know? <laughs> this Wikipedia article has no chill. Oh my god. Oh, we're just playing some GTA. Oh, that's a vibe. Uh. Okay, I got stuff to do. Oh, wait. No, look out! I. I don't remember this part of the Mario movie. I, I think I must have missed this. Imagine your dad was a minotaur and your mom was a mermaid and you got the human half of both and now you're just some guy. Can you imagine that? Steve comes along to the adventure party. It's like, oh, here's an elf bard. Here is a tiefling that can change forms. Here's a legendary druid. Oh, here is Steve, the dude. Uh, my parents was actually a minotaur and a mermaid. Shut up, Steve. No one believes you. You're very vanilla. Oh my god! The unexploded grenade just keeps bouncing all over the map. This is the actual kill cam. I remember back in the day, this was so popular on YouTube to like make montages of like the most insane kill cams like 10 years ago. But that is amazing. I remember I managed to hit something like this one time when I just threw like a knife straight up into the air and I just hit someone on the other side of the map as a kill cam. That was amazing. I'll never forget that. Core memories, man. The Economist. Human guinea pigs. Children exposed to pets have fewer childhood allergies. Except for hamsters, which make things worse. Screw hamsters, I guess. They're little popo creatures. I also like how they title it like human guinea pigs, and it's not just, you know, just a data sample <laughs> out of everyday life. <laughs> we got some Elden Bling. I love Elden Ring. I played it way too much already. I can't wait for the expansion. Oh no, look out for the ball. Those are like target seeking. No, 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 no. Okay, well, it shouldn't be able to get there. That's good. I think you're safe, fam. I think you're what? What? Oh, yeah, sure. Just shoot me a little bit extra when I'm already dead. That's fine. Just desecrate my corpse. Thank you, Elden Ring. What a treat. Women of Reddit, what is something you wish other women would stop doing? Sleeping with Nick Cannon? His kids will have to ask prospective partners for a DNA test in the future. <laughs> I feel this thread is uh, escalating very quickly. When he cheated on me with the same girl my other ex cheated on me with. What the? What's the odds of that happening? Do you have a stalker who's just like seducing every partner you ever have so they cheat with the same person? And when you're like 30, it's like, oh my god, I've had 10 partners so far. All of them have cheated with the same person. You literally have a stalker with the sole purpose of successfully as well seducing every partner you ever had. What? Learning English all your life, and then you meet a Scot. I can actually understand that perfectly fine. I used to play games uh, in a group that had a few Scottish people, so I actually I actually learned it quite well. <laughs> well, very popular today. Um, I, I'm saying that a number of parliamentary colleagues who have disabilities do find it quite difficult getting around certain parts of the state. Given that we're doing this refurbishment yeah. work. What can be done to make sure that those with a disability are, are able to move around more freely and this, the place is accessible? But this isn't even that hard to understand. Oh. I'm really sorry. What, really? Please, could you do it very slowly? And then <laughs> <in English. laughs> like... Oh my god. 
Maybe I've just practiced too much. I remember it was like that when I had a few Scottish friends over the internet that I used to play games with. The first times I spoke with them, there, there was another person in the call that had to like translate for me. When you say like, uh, excuse me, for like the sixth time in a row, it gets a bit awkward. But after like a week or two, it's like you get used to it. And, and now all of a sudden, it's not hard at all to understand. So I think you just need to like train your ear socket, so to say. Buy, sell, and trade. We'll launch about 35 feet. Springs have been upgraded. Victorian baby yeet machine. Fully restored slash finished. $300. If it's a little bit too whiny, just... Did they actually call it a uh, Victorian baby yeet machine back in the olden days, or is that like more of a modern translation? No garish left in Britain by 2050. Garish could be wiped out within a generation after it emerged there have been no children named Gary since 1992. Um, wait, there are no Garys younger than like 30, 31 years old in Britain? What? So if you went to a school, you would literally not find a single Gary. That's insane. Poor Garys, man. Get your tongue off Get my door. Get your tongue off my door. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. Get what it an off absolute my door. poo. What an absolute poo dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yes. Put it back, we know. Uh. Shoplifting is a crime. Security cameras are in use. Shoplifters will be prosecuted. It looks like an old-fashioned, like, Western wanted sign. <laughs> wanted, dead or alive, she shoplifted socks. <laughs> Quickly, kill her. A company owner decided to stop paying his drivers, so one of them parked their semi on the owner's Ferrari and just left it there. That seems like a reasonable response. I mean, God, if you're driving a Ferrari to work and you don't pay your workers, I, I, think, I think there's a little bit of karma somewhere in there, isn't it? We got little fishy. Look, it's digging a nest. Oh, get rid of the sand. What? What is that other fish doing? Is this refilling it with sand? Oh my god, is that... <laughs> what a little butthole! <sighs> well, I guess this is uh, educational in a way. This shows that uh, being a butthole is actually a naturally occurring concept. It's not only something that humans on Twitter made up, it's it's actually a thing. I also like how the fish in the hole hasn't even like gotten tired of it. It just keeps trying and trying it. Oh, it's actually chasing away the other fish, though. He's like, no, get out of here. I'm busy digging a nest. But he doesn't care about the fish actually being a rascal. Poor fish, man. Poor fish. I think we've all met something like this in our lives. This feels like you can relate to it, even if you can't, like, specify it 200%. All right, so we have this lady trying to get out, but it's locked. But it works. No, there's someone hiding in that mascot that keeps locking the door only for her. So it's like locked, but people have passed through in the meantime. And now it unlocks and it's like, why doesn't it work? That is such a cruel prank. And while it's going on, you must feel like you're going absolutely insane. I literally saw Courtney walking through the door five seconds ago and now it's locked. What the hell? Oh, that is so good. That is so good. While a lot is losses and losses, I do have an amazing rest of your day because you do deserve it. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed having you here. And I will see you again in the very near future. Take care. Mwah. Yeah! <laughs>